Welcome to this installment of Sugar CRM Tutorials for AtCore Systems. Today, we will focus on creating matrix reports and viewing them within Sugar CRM. Let's get started. First, head to your Sugar CRM installation and log in. Once you have logged in, locate the Reports Navigation link at the top of the page. Place your cursor over to see the available options. Select Create Report. You will now see a few different options on the page, each with its own explanation as to what it does. We will do a matrix report. Click on the matrix reports image. After clicking the link, you will see a list of every module available for creating a report. The module you select will be the source for the data in your report. After watching this video, feel free to explore each module's options and capabilities for report generation. For the first report, we will select Opportunities. We are going to generate a report listing the opportunities closing this year for each team. Locate opportunities in the related modules box. Go ahead and click it. Now select sales stage from the field names box. Once the selection is made, the box on the right is populated with search criteria selection for this field name. For sales stage, we see a filter qualifier selection as well as a multi-select input box with a few options. From the filter qualifier box, select Is One Of. You will notice that this changes the options in the multi-select box on the right. Select all of the options in the multi-select box except for Closed One and Closed Lost. Now head back to the field name box and select Expected Close Date. And the Define Filters box change the filter qualifier for Expected Close Date to This Year. We will also check the Runtime box for Expected Close Date. The runtime setting allows you to alter the search criteria before running a report at a later date. This is very helpful when you need to make a slight change to the search query when running the report later. Once done, click Next. The matrix report is going to provide a breakdown of data by groups. This is the screen where that selection is made. To keep it simple for now, we will just group by the primary team name and the month for the expected close date. Locate Teams underneath Opportunities in the Related Modules box and click it. Now locate Primary Team Name in the Field Name box and give it a click. Head back to the Related Modules box and select Opportunities. Then select Month Expected Close Date from the Field Name box. Once done, click Next. Since we have the basic selection of the data down and what we will group by, we now need to select what data to display in the report. By default, Opportunities is selected from the Related Modules box. Go ahead and click it to make sure. Now select Sum Amount from the Field Name box. You will see it populate the Display Summaries box on the right in addition to the previously selected team name and expected close date. Click Next. On the next screen we can choose the chart type the data series, a description, and the ability to round numbers over 100,000. We'll create this report without a chart for now. Make your other selections and entries and then click Next. Now we get to save the report for future use. Just enter a name for the report, whether you wish to show the query that you just created on the report, who it is assigned to, and the team who can view and run the report. Do keep in mind that there is a slight issue within Sugar CRM and Matrix reports that creates an error if a matrix report is previewed without being saved. We will select Save and Run after entering this information. Next up, you'll see your freshly created report. Let's go over the results to make sure that you are familiar with what is being presented. First up is the drop-down box with Run Report as the title. Click on the down arrow to see your options. If you are unhappy with your results or made a mistake, then just click Edit. Duplicate will give you the option to create a new report based on this report's settings in one of the other formats. You can also schedule the report to run at a certain date and time with the Sugar CRM scheduler. To do this, select Schedule from the menu and enter the date, time, and interval, then click Update Schedule. Do keep in mind that if you would like to use the scheduler, a cron job will need to be created by your system administrator. The report can also be saved as a PDF. I think that we're happy with this for now, so let's move on. Your report's details are listed in the next subpanel just for your reference. You can hide or show them with this button. In the next subpanel, you will see the runtime filters. These options can be changed and then applied for any filter that had runtime as a selected option. Next up is the actual data and what you were searching for in the last subpanel. 
you will see the teams listed in the rows and the close dates in the columns. Sugar CRM has a bug that causes sorting issues with certain columns. You will see that the months are out of order in this report. It's just something to keep in mind for future reports. Otherwise, all the data looks fine for now. Since this report has been saved, we can come back to it at any time or we can view another report just as easily. Go ahead and click on Reports in the top menu. You will see some search options at the top of the page. Of course, this is very helpful if you have a plethora of reports to sift through. Enter the name of the report that we just created and click Search. Click on the latest report. For me, it's Opportunities Closing This Year by Team. After clicking, your report will be displayed just like it was before. Let's go ahead and move on to a more complex example using this report. Let's add the ability to view each team member under each team row and their sales amounts. Click the Edit button under Run Report. In the breadcrumb trail at the top, locate the Define Group By link and click it. Now locate and click on Assign to User in the Related Module box. An easy way to locate an item in the Field Name box is to use the search box. Just type in name for now, and the list will filter down all the entries with name in the text. Select username from the list. Now click Save and Run. You will see the results listed by the team and the rows. However, each column is now sorted by month, and then sorted again by each username for a bit more detail. We still have a bit to change. I would like to see the users under each team row, so let's fix that. Click on Edit. Now select Report Details from the breadcrumb trail. Towards the bottom of the subpanel, locate the Layout Options selection. 1 by 2 will give you one row with two columns of data, and 2 by 1 will give you two rows of data with one column. Let's select 2 by 1 and then click Save and Run. Looking at the results, we see that we're a bit closer to the goal, but still a bit off. The team and month are on the left, while the usernames are at the top. I would like to have the months at the top and the usernames on the left. Let's edit this one more time. Click Edit. Now select Define Group By from the breadcrumb trail. Locate the username item in the Choose Display Summaries box and drag it above Expected Close Date. Click Save and Run. Now we see that the usernames are listed next to the teams on the left and the months are at the top, which is what we were looking for. Congratulations! You have successfully completed this tutorial on creating and editing matrix reports within Sugar CRM and are well on your way to becoming an expert user. Feel free to come back to these videos anytime that you need a refresher, or if you need any further assistance, then contact your Sugar CRM support staff. Thanks.